Hey, what's up, Buck Nation? Buck you, Adley Game, here with another video. Uh, as you guys can tell, my voice is kinda not there today, you know what I mean? It's not there today, um, but I'll be okay. You know, it's not, I don't have the thing. So, thank God for that. Of course, you guys, we're closing in on 200 subscribers. We're 70 subscribers away from 200 and to do our giveaway and um it, it's coming fast guys so you know when i hit 200 put your name in the giveaway email me at 200 when i get 200 so you can put your name in the giveaway and hopefully you can win you a nice prize <clears throat> you're new to the channel like and subscribe and all it helps me helps the channel grow and i'm almost at a minute already with just intro so let's get started with the video so cadillac williams doug martin and Ronald Jones. What do these three guys have in common besides being running backs for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and having cool nicknames? Cadillac, the Muscle Hammer, and Rojo. We're gonna get sit that to the side real quick. That question is gonna get sit to the side into the back burner, and we're gonna vi revisit that topic later, okay? So you guys remember, so as you guys already know, um, Ronald Jones, Rojo. You guys don't remember who he is? Let me give you guys a quick history lesson. He was our second round draft pick out of USC. Uh, he he was, you know, very talented. I mean, he was compared compared to Jamal Charles, who also played for Kansas City, and he was a young, every down back. You know, we was happy to have him. We had a running back. You know, we can develop. You know. He could have been another young, you know, Cadillac Williams. He had him rookie season. We was just hoping that Ronald Jones could be a consistent contributor to our team, even in those bad years, you know. Um, didn't work out, unfortunately. It didn't work out. <clears throat> um, it just didn't. We didn't have this. We just didn't have a need for him no more. So, so we released Rojo, and he signs with Kansas City, the Chiefs, the team that we – I will say we beat them in the Super Bowl, but it would be an understatement. So we massacred them. We did a Texas Chainsaw Massacre on the Kansas City Chiefs, but whatever. So after we, so after Kansas City picked up Ronald Jones, he had his introductory press conference. That's all players have when they sign to a new team or they even get a new contract or whatever. They have a press conference, how happy they are with the franchise, whatever, whatever. So they, so Ronaldo said he talked with Andy Reid. And I'm paraphrasing, he talked to Andy Reid, talked to the offensive coordinator, and the reason he went to Kansas City because he felt he would be able to eat more. Basically, he get more touches, he get more, you know, yards, he can contribute more with the team, whatever. That's fine and dandy. I don't blame him, and I don't disagree with him. But I look at Kansas City's running back depth chart, and they have, you know, four running backs and a and the fullback, but the running backs for Kansas City are, of course, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Derek Gore, Brandon Knox, and Rojo. Now, of those four, I will pick Rojo to be the starter. I mean, you know, but he's going to split carries with um, CEH, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He's going to split carries with him, but Rojo's going to get the majority and the lion's share of the carries. And I was thinking, I'm like, I know I don't really hear much about Edwards Hilaire ever since that one game against Texas, the Houston Texas in Week One, when he went up for like one thirty or something. I think he he had a big game, but I've not really heard much from Clyde Edwards Hilaire, you know. So I compared the numbers. I said, let me let me what did he do last year, you know? And I compared his numbers to Rojo, and you know they was about similar. You know, Clyde Edwards Hilaire had more carries, more yards, but they had the same amount of touchdowns, you know. And I mean, I like, you know, okay, you're not bad, you know. I thought I'd get more out of Edwards Hilaire, but maybe Rojo is, I think Rojo's going to do more for the Kansas City offense now that Tyreek is gone. So Tyreek is gone, he left a big hole for Rojo to be a possibly a dual back, a runner and a, somewhat of a catcher to help Mahomes ease some of the burden off Patrick Mahomes. And, you know, like I say, it happens, you know, 2020 season, we 
got we got Leonard Fournette. He was cut by Jacksonville. We picked him up, and I think what it contributed to was it the end of Rojo. It was starting to be the end of when we got Fournette. But I don't think Fournette came and just took Rojo's spot. I think it was more about Leonard Fournette coming in, and he was so anxious to contribute to the team as opposed to Rojo who was complacent and like I'm I'm young I'm already started I'm young he's just gonna be my backup and go from there but then they see how Rojo how uh, Leonard Fournette was doing and how he was playing and Rojo's carry starting to go down his production started to dip a little bit and now look at it now Rojo got the uh, three year 21 million dollar contract Rojo just signed with Kansas City so Everything happened to me. It's supposed to be happening. But I think Rojo got complacent a little bit. And, you know, teams, they see that. You know, maybe, you know, I think that they um, they got Landon Fournette to help them. But it's a lot of fire on the Rojo. Like, hey, look, man, we got your back up here if you don't step it up. Case in point, uh, Green Bay. When the um, Packers drafted Jordan Love, everybody, oh, my God, he's going to replace Aaron Rodgers. He's going to replace, replace Aaron Rodgers. But Aaron Rodgers, you know, two MVPs later, he got a big contract with Green Bay. Now, Green Bay just went bankrupt. Thank you, Aaron Rodgers. We appreciate that. But, you know, Aaron Rodgers like, you know what? I can still turn it up to a whole nother level, you know. But, I mean, like I said, I'm happy for Rojo. You know, he did his thing. And we're going to have to see what he's going to do from this, from, for, um, for this season. Now, I ask the question, what do all three of these guys have in common? Cadillac Williams, Doug Martin, and Rojo. And what surprised me was all three of these guys have a record. They all three have a record. Uh, Cadillac Williams, his record, he had in his first three weeks 430-plus yards rushing in his first three weeks. His gloves and his cleats got sent to the Pro Football Hall of Fame because, you know, that's just amazing. I was ecstatic when I heard that, when I first heard that in 2005. Uh, Doug Martin, he went to Oakland, his hometown, again, to play Oakland. He had uh, 251 yards rushing, four touchdowns. And that, you know, he was the first player to have three yards over, three touchdowns over 40 um, yards or more. And he broke the record for rushing yards and touchdowns in the game. And Rojo in the 2020 season against Carolina Week 10. <clears throat> and this was his highlight. I think his career highlight so far was Rojo. Uh, first, he fumbled the ball early in the game. So he made up with that with a 98-yard run, which was the longest run in franchise history. And, you know, that was just showed his potential of what he can do. But... Hey, you know, we are happy where we're at. We wish Rojo all luck in the world. I hope he can get where he wants to be. And maybe he can be a Pro Bowl in AFC. So what do you guys think? Um, leave your comments. Comment down below. And um, I will talk to you guys later.